Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another MacMarillion stream. Hopefully, everyone's doing great tonight. Let's see who is here. I see a Dark Action Digital FXXX R842K Gold Chess Jaza Ushika Suri and Ray Ivory. Thanks guys for joining in. As you can see from the stream title, we are doing a chill, a chill stream. Basically, just me drinking some port um, and opening up IFK port. But I do have other things to unbox, so yeah, just sit tight and come and chill with me. Here, let's go turn on some some jazzy music while I pour myself a nice glass of wine. Here we go. But yeah, basically just the same thing I've been drinking. I think this might be the last stream that I drink this as the bottle is almost empty. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. This is a Kirkland Signature Tawny Port, 10 years. Um, I've mentioned it before, but this is very similar to a Taylor Flatgate that retails for about seven bucks more typically. I think I think Costco just ends up re-bottling or relabeling some of the more higher tier wine at more affordable prices. So yeah, that's me tonight, drinking some Costco wine. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, um, today I'm unboxing a couple foams. So a few weeks ago, I was sent a Fuji 65, Fuji 65, and I could not build it yet because um, Feather, who was, who was the runner for the Fuji 65, asked me to hold off on the build as he sent me some new foam. Yeah, just as a quick run through, uh, here. This is a better photo right there. A Fuji 65, 65% keyboard with a very nice back weight. But yeah, that's what it looks like, Fuji 65. That's a cute desk mat, thank you. It just recently ended its group buy. Let's see. But yeah, hopefully this Saturday, I'll be able to build my Fuji 65, but let me just look at my, look at my build schedule. You know, I think I'm free this Saturday, but just want to double, double check and make sure, you know. Will I be joining the second Kara sequence too, or will you be getting a review piece? No, I, I don't believe I've asked for one. Yeah, as you guys know, I'm not big on the HHKB, so, yeah. Let's see, this is June, right? Do I have anything scheduled for June? Um, yes, I do, actually. I have a 7V that I'm building on Saturday. But the following Saturday, I have a customer who's not sure if the, if the keyboard will come in then, so if his keyboard doesn't come in, I'll build the Fuji 65. That's what I'll do. Anyway, let's do this. Let's see. That was definitely foam. Okay. This looks like Poron foam. So Poron foam into the Fuji 65. Looks like... I can't even tell which way it goes. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I can't even tell which way it goes. Maybe... Maybe like this, because this looks like a enter key slot, and this looks like the um, arrow key, so this is probably the way it goes in. Okay, um, I can do that. I can do that. Maybe let me just throw it into the Fuji 65 case, just so I don't lose it. Because I know I will if I just leave it around here. In case you guys haven't seen my Fuji 65, not really an, an unboxing stream because I already did it. But see, this is the original one, right? This is a lot denser. It's a uh, silicon foam. So Feather wants me to try out the Poron foam. So yeah, I don't know. Like maybe that that will make it feel a little softer when I'm typing, but, but in terms of sound, I don't know what that will do with the sound. Hopefully better, right? That's always the goal. I'm here to show you guys the the Fuji 65 really quick. 
before we continue. In case you guys forgot. 3G65, Feather was gracious enough to send me the Founders Edition in in um, E White. And there we go. Look at that very beautiful back weight right there. This is probably one of the more beautiful weights that I have ever seen. Yeah, I am very impressed. I love it. It's very lovely indeed. Very lovely. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. That carbon fiber, yeah! Yeah, let's go put that in there. There's the PCB right there. Unfortunately, they sent me a non-QMK powered one, which I'm like, well, that sucks. That's because I know that there are QMK powered ones available, but yeah. Kind of curious why they sent me one of the QMK mods, a non-QMK powered board. I don't make my bad says, have you built the the ZT boards after? I don't know what a ZT board is. But yeah, that's definitely much denser material than the Poron. The Poron is, is super soft. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fuji 65, ready for a future build. Um, maybe the 12th, maybe the 19th. Who knows? We'll see. We will see. Katsuda Doga says, I kind of worried that the bottom might get scratched. I I see that, but as long as as long as you keep your um desk clean, you should be fine. Mr. Pa Petrov says that's an awesome PVD. Awesome, thank you. San. Sanagatoshi says, Merle, I just wanted to say thank you so much for responding to my Discord DM. I was stormed. Ah, okay, yeah, no problem, man. Elvin Monster says, the afternoon board, yeah. Look at Phoenix, pulled the trigger on 200 KS3s. Awesome, that's one of my favorite budget switches. The RCL says, Merlin, I'm trying to build QMK for a Jelly Epoch, but I don't see it in the repo anywhere. Do you know if there's a PR or a fork for it somewhere? Probably, I would have to look for it. And six risk subscribe with tier one. Thank you. Subscribe for nine months on a nine month streak, dude. Thank you for your nine months of nine months of support. That's like enough to make a baby. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Katsu, this is my Phantom sixty five. I am quite enjoying it. Quite enjoying it. All right. Next, next one is another foam package. And this one is from one of my viewers, actually. You may know him as Iowa501. I believe that's his screen name over on Discord. Iowa501, but he runs a little store called Green Door Geeks. So over on Green Door Geeks, you have your choice of a lot of different types of foam here. So you've got everything for an ID80, the Mark 65, Voice 65, NK 65, all that good stuff. And if you prefer palm, if you prefer a palm plate in addition to your foam, he's got quite a few available as well. Something for the Polaris, the Space 65, the Maja, the Vega. Pretty cool stuff here. See that? So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Let me paste the link into chat. You guys can all check it out on the way. Right there. And we get to see the quality of his foam slash plates right now. <laughs> Let's see, if I remember correctly, I I asked him to, if he could send me additional foam and a, I think a plate or something for my GMMK Pro. You guys remember that? And here we go, let's see, let me just review this note. This note says, oh no, it's just two foams. One for the ID80 and one for my GMMK Pro. Perfect. Okay. Cool stuff. This looks to be a ID80 foam. Aptly 
Happily named. Oh wow, that's like a complete kit of foam right there. Not just plate foam, but case foam. Not bad. That's a lot of foam. And I assume this is going to be the GMMK Pro. And oh my gosh, look! He sent me coasters! Oh my gosh! Look, it's a coaster with my wizard hat on it. That's that was that's quite a surprise. Iowa 501, if you're seeing this, thank you. Thank you for this lovely surprise. In fact, I will use it right now. <laughs> if I can open it. There we go. Huge depression says, hello, 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 to you too. There we go. A custom Merlin coaster right there. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see, anything else? Nope, that is it. That is all the foam. Let me just swap out the coaster here. Nice coaster. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's take a look at this foam. Let's, um, you know, unfortunately, after I requested the foam from him, um, that's when people started noticing that, hey, there's not much you can do with the GMMK Pro. In fact, taking out the plate foam seems to make it sound better. So I'm like, well, crap, I, I already requested these. So yeah, let's look at the ID80 foam instead. For those of you who don't know, the ID80 is another 75% keyboard sold by Adobao. It is an integrated plate board. It has gone through several revisions at this point. But one of the more common improvements for it is to actually put in foam. Yeah, let's look at... Wow, this is a very complete kit. Holy cow. So first off, you've got the smart foam right there. That's the one that sits between the plate and the PCB. Get to pop out all of those sockets right there. Then you have, apparently, the case foam comes in several components right there. Two pieces. Something for the RGBs. And two additional strips here for additional foam. Yeah, I think this is done because if you've ever tried to put foam in your ID80, you know it gets to be like a super tight fit. So you do need to cut up your foam, your um, case foam, into several sizes. But the fact that he's doing it like this, like look, there, there's even like a small cutout for the microcontroller. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So yeah, we could do that. That means I'll have to rebuild my ID80 sometime soon. We'll see what I, what I do with it. R842K Gold says, quick question, do you stream on YouTube? No, I do not. I stream primarily on Twitch, but I do upload all of my content back onto YouTube after the terms of service mandatory 24 hours. The acrylic bottom is so tight for foam, so sure foam. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. So I don't know. It might be a might be a difficult thing to do. Yeah, I might if if anything on the G on the GMMK Pro, I won't use the plate foam, but I'll use the case foam. Like, honestly, like, after after just playing around with the GMMK Pro, it doesn't feel like... I feel like it doesn't feel as good as what I expected. But when they said gasket mount, there was, like, a certain level of feel that I was expecting, and it definitely did not reach that. There we go. All right. Got all that foam out of the way. Okay. Next bit. Next bit. Um, a couple months ago, I joined IFK Port purely for the fact because I wanted to put this on the board and drink port while porting with ports. <laughs> Unfortunately, these days, I don't have too many things to port. I haven't really been 
volunteering any of my services or looking for that kind of work lately because I've just just been way too busy. So yeah, I'd say this kind of came super late. Um, for those of you who are following my um, ordeal about it, turns out that that it got lost somewhere along the way. And as I'm looking through the tracking, it almost seems like they said they just sent me like another one. It seems like they just sent me another one. <laughs> Mr. Petros that's literally living the dream. Yeah, porting with ports with port. Yeah, here. Let's take a look at it. Let's see how this IFK stuff works. If you guys have been watching Twitter or so, many people have said that the colors on this were absolute garbage. Um, I am prepared. I am prepared. It's not like I bought this 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 key set just so I would have great colors. I bought this primarily so I could finish the porting with ports with port meme. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this looks. Let's see how this looks. I I I have seen pictures. I know what I'm getting into, but you know, seeing pictures versus the real deal is always very different. And that's actually not bad. I I quite like that. That's uh, yeah, I am not unhappy. I am not unhappy with the way this is turning out so far. You know? <laughs> yeah, of course, obviously it's not really... Obviously it's not really the same color as port. This is a much lighter red, right? It's almost like a maroon red, right? Yeah, not not exactly the color of port, so I'll take a few points off for that. But in terms of the overall color scheme, it, it looks fairly decent. Looks fairly decent to me. Now let's see how th this is my first Infinity set. Yeah, that's actually another reason why I bought this. I just wanted to see if Infinity was any good at all, right? Yeah, just because I've been looking for PBT sets and all that. Let's see. Is this flat? Okay, so it's flat for the most part. I see some warpage as it goes up over here. Very slight, very slight warpage. It's not like I'm like looking at it directly, but here. Yeah, very slight warpage. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's see, how about any of the other mods? Do they look good? I can't pick them up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's no visible warpage until you put it on the on a flat surface. Then that's when you see some of the warpage. But yeah, nowhere near as bad as some of the early EPBT sets, right? Alright. I can forgive it. Like, I didn't really spend that much on this key set. So let's go look at some of the legends here. Um, let's see. Since I got... Since they're all icon, I can't really comment on the space between letters. But let's see. Yeah, over here. For the alt key right here, you can see that the T... Here, I guess I can move it up a bit. You can see that the T is ever so slightly shifted to the right. It's not the same spacing between the A and the L. So yeah, not, not really a big deal. So yeah, let's look at legend weight... Legend weights right here. The weighting between each key looks... Looks fairly consistent. Like, I can see a slight difference here. Like, if you look at the J and the K, you'll see that the J is slightly thinner than the K. The K looks bolded compared to it. Let's see, what else can I see? What else can I see here? Oh, yeah, over here. For your carrots, it looks like um, the greater than symbol is a little lower than the less than symbol. Was minor inconsistencies, but yeah, this was a sub hundred dollar kit, so you know it's not like I'm buying GMK here. 
Okay, I can see more of that inconsistency with the 6 and the 7. What else? Yeah. Color-wise, I don't really mind. It's like, honestly, I don't stare at my board when I'm typing. It's really only when I'm like presenting it on stream. And right now, look, with my camera angle this high, I bet you can't even see most of the inconsistencies with the EPBT set, right? Right, so it, it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna say just based on this initial tray alone, I'm I'm pretty content with um IFK. Pretty content with the IFK. Let's see what's this next batch over here. Numpad, okay. Numpad. I really like the trace that they have here. Oh, look, there is a accent key. A couple blanks here as well. Um, you know, for for the numpad, all of the line widths or, or like the line weights all look fairly consistent. So that's good. That's good. That is more consistent than than what I was seeing on the alphas. Well, that's good. That's good. Oh, here we go. If you guys look at the delete, if you look at that delete key, you can see that the D has a thicker line weight. I guess it, I guess it would be a, a heavier line weight than the E L E T E. Interesting. So yeah, so far, so far I am not disappointed because this is what I expected. <laughs> I'm not disappointed at all. I'm more um, what do you call that? It has met met my expectations, and my expecta and my expectations were not very high. <laughs> there we go. Here, here are the here are the accent colors. Let's look at all that. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that on the escape key right there. You can see that that E, E on the escape, is so much thicker than the S, S and the C. Yeah, it's basically it's the same consistent issues. Same consistent issues. Nothing. Nothing too bad, to be honest. Overall, Kamar says, not great, but good for the price. I agree with you on that. Totally agree with you on that. But yeah, here, look. This is an example of the war pitch that I'm seeing. You can take, two, you can take two, two of the space bars, put them side by side, right? Put them side by side, and they should lay flat against each other, right? But no. Look at that. So this... This example, like these are the seven U's. You can tell this one has more extreme warpage than the 6.25 U. Not sure if you guys can see that. You can see it over here on the edges, right? So yeah, I I fully expected that more on the seven U. Let's compare it. Let's compare the six U here. So yeah, so far, based on what I've seen... Do that. Slight warpage over here on this end as well. But as I was saying, so far what I've seen, from, like, from, from what I've seen, EPBT seems to have less warpage now than TKC. This is um, this this some IFK stuff that that I'm seeing right now. This seems to match EPBT's quality from probably 2018, 2019. That's what I'm seeing here. So given given the given how EPBT has progressed, how that they how they've improved all of their tooling and stuff. I have confidence that IFK w will do the same thing. So if you give them another year or two, they'll start getting rid of a lot of that warpage. Like personally, I feel that their legends, like even the inconsistencies between each legend is not is not as severe as EPBT. 
Rainbow says, Merlin, was wondering how you felt about the Radiance TK. I talked about it last night. I thought it was pretty decent, or I guess not last night, but on Sunday. If you want to hear my full thoughts, you can check out that video. Aurora says, would you recommend? Um, I would actually recommend. If you're looking just for like a cheap PBT set, you know, and, and you're not, and you don't care too much about warpage, but you just want something that you can get, like, I, I believe port is currently available. Currently available as like an extra. Yeah, just try it out, you know. Try it out. I know that they're like the new kid on the block, right? But it's not that bad. I feel like a lot of people say, oh my gosh, IFK is terrible, blah, 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 blah. It sucks, blah, 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 blah. But to be honest, I think a lot of it seems to be more, more to do with how TKC, the key company, has originally handled all of the transactions, right? I think that's where most of the most of the complaints lay, not so much with the actual key set. Because right now I am I'm pretty happy with this. This is what I expected for the for the amount that I paid. You know? So yeah, I I'm not disappointed. Am I like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I'm not as impressed with this as I am of, with the GMK set. See, do I, do I even have a board I can put this on? Mm, what color board would match well with this? I feel like... I feel like a gray board would look fine. Yeah, I think a gray board would look good with this. Here, let me... Let, let me just put it up put it on a board here. Let me just put it on a board. So I do want to see how it feels. There we go. I figure since I have a 65 in front of me, I might as well just grab another 65. There we go. My iron 165 with, uh, what are these? C3 stabs. Oh, actually, these are, I think when I built this board, these were the original C3 stabs. So I wonder if IFK will fit on them. Aleph Kino says it's rare for you to have more boards than keycaps. Um, I, yeah, I definitely have more boards than keycaps. There we go. IFK on an iron. Oh, perfect. That works just great. Perfect. That's the way I like it. Okay. Now we will see if the warped space bar will really make a difference or not. Oh, I can see that warp, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it too bad. Did it turn out like how I imagined? Yeah, it did actually. It it absolutely did. So I did get up like a, I I did get an extensions kit, like an add-on kit, but I don't think I'll open that quite yet since I don't need it. And yeah, here we go. That's what it looks like, guys. IFK port on an iron 165, round one. Sato Grass says, what is the most noticeable difference compared to GMK? Um, definitely the weight and feel of it. IFK is made out of PBT, whereas GMK is made out of ABS. Um, and yeah, you can definitely see, let's see. Let me grab a, where's my GMK set board here? Here, let's do this. This is a board that I need to return soon. So might as well show it off a bit more. But this is the Sagittarius with GMK Mizu. And I can already tell it's like a different font, completely different font. Arrows are different sizes and all that. And just the feel, the overall feel. ABS GMK is a lot more slippery than this. Like IFK is a very rough feeling. Compared with EPBT, I'd say even the EPBT feels smoother. Yeah. 
do. Oh, I have too many keyboards on the desk. <laughs> Busy Timmy says, hello and good day. Caleb says, hey Merlin, hello to you too. Hello to you too. Just basically just putting on keycaps on a board that didn't have keycaps. Yeah, I know. This actually looks good on gray. This looks really good on gray. Autograph says, so, so do you rank IFK above EPBT? I rank IFK better than EPBT from two years ago, but current EPBT, I'd say is probably the king of the PBTs at this point. Feels really good. Well, actually, CRP could probably be king of the of, of the PBT carry profiles as well, but no, I, I'm just very impressed with EPBT these days. Is that Mizu? Yes, this is Mizu. So I've got EPBT ABS Teal, um, IFK Port, GMK Misu, and EPBT 9009. But yeah, thanks guys for joining in. Thanks guys for joining in. My next stream will possibly be this Thursday. I don't know, if, I, if I'm that bored, if I'm that bored, I might build this guy on stream. My completely non-keyboard related <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens on thursday but yeah thanks guys for joining in if not this thursday tune in this saturday i will be building a customer 7v so yeah thanks guys for joining in and i will see you when i see you have a great rest of your week goodbye everyone